Thank you, Sags. Well, when Chelsea were at their European pomp in the early years of the last decade, this current situation would have seemed unthinkable. There were kings of Europe in 2012, Europa League winners in 2013, frequent visitors to the business end of continental competition. What a catalogue of epic nights. High stakes blues wins against blue chip opposition that live long in the memory. There has been further Europa League success since, but it is now seven years since Chelsea made it through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. And now, like then, they face Madrid opposition. And, like then, they face the second leg here at the bridge, having got a draw in Spain. Against Atletico that night, they led, but soon conceded. And they fell tantalisingly short whilst chasing the game and trying to overturn an away goals deficit. The away goals advantage tonight, at the moment, working in their favour. Well, that Atletico team's success came from their ability to defend well, and this new-look, reimagined, Tuchel-inspired team are very similar. The new Blues blueprints also framed around a solid back line. They've kept clean sheets in 17 of their 23 games under the German. And another one tonight will get the job done. Chelsea lining up with Mendy in goal. Christensen, Silva and Rudiger the back three. As Piliqueta and Chilwell at wing back. Jorginho Conte and Mountain midfield. And Havertz and Werner up front. That was the shape that they played in the first leg and at the weekend. But they do have the option, of course, of moving Mason Mount slightly further forward. And playing in a 3-4-3. Real Madrid, Courtois in goal, Nacho, Eda Militao, Ramos and Mendy, Modric, Casemiro and Kroos, Vinicius, Benzema and Aiden Hazard back on his old stomping ground as part of the forward three. Real Madrid in all white but with black socks, Chelsea in all blue with white socks and Chelsea will attack the shed end in this first half kicking from right to left part of the ground Thibaut Courtois knows so well back like Aiden Hazard on familiar turf tonight well Chelsea took first blood in the first leg their dominance and superiority much in evidence but not reflected by the overall picture they start all square the small matter of 13 time European champions standing between them and a shot at glory in Istanbul Manchester City await the winners will it be Real Madrid or will it be Chelsea? It is Los Merengue in early possession. And they potentially could be playing as uh, Nacho puts the ball forward. The back three rather than the, the flat back four that everybody was expected. Mendy playing as left wing back and Vinicius Ali playing as a, as a right wing back by the look of it. With uh, with the back three that, that you were surprised that they played last week. I am. I'm very surprised. And it looks certainly looks the case. Vinicius on the right hand side there. As you correctly said that... Uh, out in the left hand side is Mendy in, in, in a high and a five so they've got the three at the back and they've, they've started with the two white boys in the middle of the park which Jim I have to say as a surprise because I thought the four would suit them better Ramos getting an early touch and laying it back for Thibaut Courtois so Ava Militao playing on the right of the three centre halves Nacho on the left he has it now works it back for Courtois again now to Sergio Ramos his 681st Real Madrid appearance tonight and as I mentioned earlier they haven't been knocked out of this competition with him in the side for six years which is an extraordinary record he missed the defeats against Manchester City last season and against Ajax in the previous campaign Chelsea have possession and it's Antonio Rudiger with a, a black Phantom of the Opera mask on tonight to uh, protect the uh, damaged face that he has at the moment Conte uh, in possession just working it back to the heart of the defence for the vastly experienced Thiago Silva four from him to Tony Rudiger now to Chilwell and straight back again to the German who controls it takes a touch goes back for Thiago Silva near the edge of his own penalty area one long ball pinged over the top Aspeliqueta making the run four from right wing back right through the middle in the central position that was something that we saw on a couple of occasions last week as well but they nearly picked him out Chelsea do win a throw on the left hand touchline as a result of that and Schill will pick it up it was an excellent ball and an, an even better run um, because uh, he just came from deep in the right hand side of the middle of the park and Ramos had to have, have his wits about him and here is Werner, he's offside, and it's a free kick to Real on the edge of their own penalty area. Yeah, it's been a kind of cagey start from both sides. I think the first surprise we've already mentioned is Madrid going with the three at the back with the two wider lads. But um, they're just kind of sensing, they're just going to 
feeling each other out at this early stage in the game, Jim, not a lot of, you know, not, they're not really going for it as you, as you would expect at this moment in time, just sussing each other out, getting a feel of the ball. Nil-nil on the night, 1-1 one, one on aggregate, and if it stays that way, that will be enough for Chelsea to go through to meet Manchester City in Istanbul on Saturday the 29th of May. Casemiro dropping between the centre halves for a moment, picking up possession, working it into the feet of the retreating Aiden Hazard, back for Casemiro, now for to uh, Vinicius. And then Casemiro chipping it down towards Said, and Militao making his way forward on the Real Madrid right-hand side. Chelsea turning over possession, and as Chilwell drives it forward, it hits uh, Ada Militao, who means business on a uh, not too cold a night. He's dispensed with the gloves already, threw them off in dismay down at the, the feet of his manager Zinedine Zidane. Here's Rudiger playing it back to his goalkeeper. Away to our right-hand side, Mendy taking a touch and playing it out from the back. You're listening to Chelsea against Real Madrid in the Champions League, and it's live on TalkSport with Music Magpie, the place to get great value, certified refurbished phones and tech. Still nil-nil as Kroos brings it forward. Hazard down just inside his own half, and then Conte just having a, a little nibble at Kroos, and the uh, referee will uh, just pull uh, Cesar Azpilicueta across and have a little words a couple of poor challenges coming in from the, the Chelsea players Conte leaning out did actually get the uh, the back of his boot on the top of the ball but his, uh, his follow through uh, saw him going to Tony Kroos and it was Christensen that had put Hazard in the that was the one the for deck. me that was the one for me I think he's slightly fortunate not to pick up a yellow card there Jim I thought he was late and the fact the referee played the advantage might have done Christian or Fort Christensen a fortune there yeah, a little bit of luck because that was a yellow for me 6-4 for Real Madrid as the ball is swung inside the penalty area it's a good header away by Thiago Silva helped further clear by Mason Mount and they try to get the pace on on the counter attack two against two for a moment if the ball had uh, dropped to a man in blue but it didn't despite the best efforts of both Mount and Werner and Vinicius who's very pacey he was in the right place at the right time to be able to lay it back for his goalkeeper Courtois now Luka Modric in his uh, orange boots playing it down the left-hand side of the area. Hazard with the run and Thiago Silva tracked him every step of the way to concede the throw. Lovely ball there outside the right foot. Modric, we've seen it so often. Just a terrific little football player, Jim. Just sees passes, sees movement. You know if you're in a forward position and you're making a run for Modric, you might not get the ball all the time, but he'll see you. I can guarantee you that. Those are the thoughts of Fanny McCoy alongside me, Jim Brown for Declan McCarthy, our in-stadium producer tonight, and Mark Zaggers in the chair, nil-nil, lovely little nutmeg of Chilwell from Vinicius, who gets a return ball from Modric, Vinicius then turning it back to Ada Militao, the Brazilian forward for Luka Modric again on the Real Madrid right. And Ada Militao put under pressure by Mounts, more than happy to go back for Thibaut Courtois. Last time that Chelsea were in a Champions League semi-final, uh, he was on the winning side against them, playing for Atletico back in 2014 when he was on loan there from Chelsea at the, the start of his career, hoping to be on the winning side against them tonight. There's a, another poor challenge coming in, Nacho the player that was fouled and the Italian referee Osato is uh, just going to have a word with Kai Havertz. Is it going to produce a yellow card or is it just going to be a lecture? Uh, the latter by the look of it, but Chelsea mean business, they're stamping their authority uh, quite literally on a couple of the players in the midfield. I have to inform you, I think he's been quite lenient, um, very lenient in fact, Daniel Osato so far this evening. There's one or two of them, I, I, I thought he would have been producing a yellow card but that's fine that's absolutely fine I, I think the next one might may not be so generous but um, particularly Christensen going on, on Hazard Jim I thought that was, was yellow but the referee I think he's not, not wanting to let the game flow which I understand totally but he has to be careful keep a hold of the game keep on top of the game well Nacho's back on his feet uh, Crows takes the free kick uh, he's back for Ramos and he will turn it back for Thibaut Courtois again. And Chelsea so good in uh, being able to manage a not dissimilar situation to this against Atletico Madrid. They had the first leg advantage that night but were excellent in the uh, second here. As Werner tries to find a way through and Sergio Ramos uses his experience, just leans into him shoulder to shoulder inside the penalty area to shepherd the ball back to his keeper. That's exactly what it was, Jim, his experience. He's done it a thousand times in his career. Uses his body, anticipates, 
Ushers it back to Courtois. Now Modric. 15 yards outside his own penalty area. Play forward into the feet of Hazard. Hazard to Ada Militao and back for Ramos. Chelsea coming into this, as I mentioned earlier, 17 clean sheets in 23 games. If in fact, if you take the, the five that they conceded against West Brom out of the picture here, they've only conceded five so far under Tuchel. It's an extraordinary defensive record. It really is. It really is. That game against Atletico Madrid, they never looked like conceding, Ali. Yeah. And the, that's the blueprint now. It's not necessarily the, the free-scoring, flamboyant football, but if you've got a defensive record as good as that, you've got a chance in every game. And that's what they're hoping to make the most of tonight, with uh, neither goalkeeper having anything to do other than uh, just field innocuous back passes with eight and a half minutes gone at nil nil. Yep, not a lot in it at this moment in time. As you see, absolutely no clear-cut chances at all. Most of the play defensive in midfield. I haven't seen any of the forwards yet. But, as we know, Jim, that can all change in a split second. Ramos playing it forward. And here is uh, Ada Militao. They've had a, a fair few nil-nils recently. Have Real Madrid against Betis and Getafe and the away leg against Liverpool as well. They'll bring the ball forward with Hazard now towards the uh, edge of the penalty area. Played out towards the uh, the left-hand touchline. Work back for Hazard again. He's got Azpilicueta, who knows so well. Tracking his every move. Chelsea almost able to turn over possession with Havertz in an advanced area, but Ada Militao has it. It's Real Madrid dominating possession. That won't face Chelsea. Nil-nil still the score. One-one in aggregate with Chelsea uh, continuing to have the away goals advantage at the moment. The ball goes through the legs of Hazard. And he's about 10 yards outside the penalty area as he plays it into the feet of Karim Benzema. That might just about be the Frenchman's first touch of the night. Back for Ramos again. Still, Raoul dominating possession. Modric, lovely turn, just to drop the shot and got away from Werner. And then sends a glorious ball out towards a fell on Mendy out on the, the left-hand touchline. And the Frenchman controls it. Brings it infield, finds Aiden Hazard. Hazard back for Kroos, now towards Modric. Modric taking on Alice Piliqueta. Shown inside, an opportunity from distance, which uh, Kroos hit well. And Mendy just took a step across to his right-hand side and made a comfortable save for Chelsea. First shot of the night. And uh, very routine for the goalkeeper. Chelsea will now play out from the back and put under immediate pressure, but Jorginho gets it away and Ali McCoy is still nil now. Absolutely, and, and you have to see Real Madrid looking slightly, without being brilliant, looking slightly brighter the two sides at the early stages in the game, Jim. The first shot in goal, first shot in target from Tony Cruz was fair enough straight, but a comfortable save for, for Chelsea goalkeeper Mendy. On the left-hand side, I must admit, I'm looking at Real Madrid and they are getting a bit of width for from Wendy and uh, uh, Mendy a bigger pardon on the left hand side Vinicius here on the right trying to give him the same width on the right but not an awful lot in the early stages between the two sides Jim but Real Madrid slightly having better possession a uh, possession for me at this moment in time yeah Mendy missed that first leg uh, because of a calf problem but a recall tonight as is Sergio Ramos but they've lost Varane uh, he has succumbed to an injury of his own a thigh problem Benzema Trying to lay it back, has given it away, and Chelsea might be able to work a three against three for a moment as Vanna brings it forward, sent Havertz wider than he wanted to go, but he can still pick it up on the right-hand side of the penalty area. He's run a long way round it to bring it back in field, finds Conte, back from him to Jorginho, rooting out from distance, worth an attempt and beaten away by Courtois, who got his fist behind it to punch it outside the penalty area. It's one of those that looks as though he's going to be decidedly optimistic from Rudiger, but very well struck. And now Ben Chilwell in the next phase of play brings it forward for Chelsea. Finds Mount. Mount inside the penalty yet. Trying to trick his way through past Ada Militao. Courtois saves that one with his stretched left foot and knocks it away for a throw. Much better from Chelsea. Oh, massively. First of all, the shot from Rudiger I thought was hopeful. I think it might have moved in the last minute. Courtois took no, absolutely no chance. He punched it away, but brilliant skill in the left-hand side there from Mount oh wonderful skill and he tries to find Timo Werner in the box but Courtois sticks out a right, right leg stops it stops the cross but as you say marvellous from Chelsea down the left hand side here first time we've seen them really attack and open up 
And now Chilwell's been fouled by Casemiro. And it's a free kick which will be taken by Chelsea midway between the uh, left touchline and the left-hand edge of the penalty area. Mount stands over it. It's probably three yards adrift at the edge of the box. Referee comes across and uh, just puts the spray down to indicate where the uh, ball has to go. And then a line of it inside the penalty area where the two-man Real Madrid wall has to stand. And he's just making the point that they cannot try and defend this by raising their hands above their shoulder at all. It will give a penalty against them. So, standing over it, Mason Mount for a right-footed in-swinger, potentially a left-footed away swinger from Chilwell. Now the referee goes across to uh, the, the conglomeration of players uh, near the penalty spot. Six or seven from both sides preparing to attack this. Chilwell swings it in towards the far post. Havertz was the target and it's half clear. Brought back down by Aspeliqueta. Aspeliqueta laying it back. Jorginho's ball in. That knocked away easily by Modric. He can find Benzema. Benzema into the feet of Hazard. It was a wonderful turn from him. And the referee might produce a yellow card now. He does. As they uh, knew the danger of uh, letting him get past Jorginho, it was that uh, stretched out a foot. Might let the ball get past him. There's no way he'd let Hazard get past him as well. The counter attack stopped in his infancy, but Jorginho gets a yellow card. Absolutely, deservedly so, Jim. I think, as I said earlier, the referee showing a little bit of uh, leniency earlier on. That was definitely a yellow. But make no mistake, that was an excellent defensive header there from Casemiro. The ball in from Chilwell found its way to the back post. Havertz was lurking at the back post but good defensive head of Casemiro Conte helping it forward headed away by Sergio Ramos Casemiro lets it run across his body and Nacho takes control pokes it back to his goalkeeper Courtois fires it back uh, out at him again and there's his turn four down the Real Madrid left it's uh, taking a touch and goes out for a throw uh, which will be taken by Real Madrid midway inside their own half they've got an excellent defensive record themselves they've only conceded once in nine and a half hours which was Pulisic's goal in the first leg and they followed up that one-all draw last week uh, with a 2-0 victory of the weekend uh, at home to Wasasuna that's, so, an, that's another league that's wide open at this moment in time isn't it just we're, we're, we're looking at last night's fixture of the Manchester City PSG they're having a real battle at the top with Leo equally Madrid yeah three way feist at the, uh, the at the top of La Liga at the moment with uh, Barcelona and Atletico uh, involved Chilwell in very strongly now uh, Vinicius uh, trying to bring it away and Chilwell did well just to get onto the loose ball and win it back and he's found Jorginho Jorginho to Havertz who's just dropped that little bit deeper and will be able to bring it forward now trying to side through the space outside the penalty area back for Jorginho he in turn deeper still for Christensen and Christensen sends it across from one side of the back three to the other and Rudiger will bring it forward Rudiger with a nicely disguised ball to Ben Chilwell they open up the body as Lucas though he's going to play it forward straight finds Werner Werner's ball across the penalty area was uh, a decent one but the referee spotted an infringement as he was attacked by Havertz uh, one of the uh, Real Madrid players uh, down on the edge of the six yard box and it's going to be a, a free kick Ramos uh, not happy with the pressure in the ball they've already changed one tonight and now Courtois has uh, just taken that one away and uh, swapped it for another from uh, a steward behind the goal away to our left hand side 16 minutes in Chelsea nil Real Madrid nil 1-1 on aggregate and Chelsea as things stand here on TalkSport going through on away goals but a long long way to go again proper defending there from Nacho Jim Werner does brilliant his pace over three or four yards allows him to get away from the defender smashes it across with his left foot it's an excellent ball but Nacho's positional sense to get in front of Kai Havertz there was excellent and the uh, referee correctly gave a free kick Havertz just a slightly late touch to give away the free kick but again better from Chelsea Ramos can bring it forward Modric there's a nice ball with the outside of the right foot and he's found Tony Kroos those two who know each other's game so well now towards Mendy Mendy to Modric Modric in a position to let fly from the edge of the area but it's an easy save for Edouard Mendy who could just collapse onto it bring the ball safely into his grasp but another shot on target and they're beginning to get themselves into positions in and around the edge of the penalty area Adam. yeah both teams Jim I mean he's a wee genius he is absolutely genius of a football player goes to strike it with his right foot Christensen buys it and as he does he takes another touch to get himself a half yard the strike wasn't clean but he certainly gets it away.
has scored a winner against Chelsea in the past, back in his Tottenham days. His uh, Ben Chill will make his way for Werner! Timo Werner scores for Chelsea, but the flag is up. Ben Chilwell making a, an excellent run forward down the left-hand side, fired across the edge of the six-yard box, and Werner finding the space, which perhaps betrayed that maybe he just got a fraction early. As we have a look at a replay, the flag is correct, and it stays nil-nil. Which is a great shame. I'm not sure he could have held his line as well, Jim. I'm looking at it. He probably could have held it just a split second. But it's a brilliant move. Absolutely top class. A ball from Chilwell. You could see it. You could see the move unfold in front of our eyes. Everything went according to plan. Just slightly a half yard offside. And the linesman, to be fair to him, spot on with that one. But again, the game is opening up now from the first five minutes or so. It was pretty cagey. They're now opening up and they've got a little bit of a go at each other. And Chelsea beginning to get joy down the left-hand side yeah. as well. Vinicius playing at wing-back, as we've been mentioning, but he's a winger. He's not like Ferlon Mendy on the other side, who's a full-back playing as a wing-back. He's a winger playing as a wing-back. And there is space for Chilwa to get in behind him all the time. Courtois he'll, he'll controlling it. He'll certainly continue to go down that left-hand side, Chilwa. He'll know if you're... First and foremost, if you're Vinicius, you don't want to go back into that area, and Chilwa will know that. Here's Eda Militao bringing it forward and finding Vinicius and this is the kind of area that he can be potent and as soon as I say that he plays a, a ball which was uh, over hit but Hazard's going to chase it. Jorginho brings it out, Conte gets a shout to dispense with the ball immediately as the pressure comes from Kroos and in firing it away to stop being caught in possession he's given it away, missing Azpilicueta with the pass and it goes out of play for a throw over on the far touchline. A throw which was taken quickly by Real Madrid but they worked it all the way back, 56. 60 yards back inside their own half for Courtois. About half past six or so, there was the mother of all storms here at Stamford Bridge. Glorious evening now with uh, the sun setting and in our eyes, away to the right-hand side and the, the gap between the, the roofs of the stand. It's uh, four seasons in one day. <laughs> it's amazing, I must admit. Sitting watching this first half now with your hands up holding the prevent the sun in your eyes if you thought that was going to happen 20 minutes ago it's extraordinary isn't it glorious sunset it's going to be and uh, Chelsea just making sure or needing to make sure that it's the lights going out on Real Madrid tonight it is Real Madrid's first ever match here at Stamford Bridge uh, we talked in the build up about that Cup Winners Cup final which they won in a replay against Real back in 1971 they beat them in the Super Cup as well with a Gus Poyet goal back in uh, the late 90s well, have got a very good record against English opposition. They've won four of the last five two-legged ties against Premier League teams. The exception being that defeat of Manchester City last season. Well, haven't won any of their last four away games against English sides. A run that could well see them eliminated if that continues tonight. Not necessarily. They're on the front foot here. It's still nil-nil with the chances at a premium. Kroos playing it down towards the right hand side uh, Chilwell intercepted before he got to Vinicius but it was a loose touch now Vinicius will chase as Eda Militao tries to play him in and Rudiger's forced to come across and slide in and knock it out of play and just have a, a little word with Chilwell about his loose touch and it's a throw which will be taken on the Real Madrid right level with the edge of the Chelsea penalty area did very well Rudiger Chilwell takes a big heavy touch he did well to intercept it but it just looked as though he got a little bit too excited with the interception takes a heavy touch Rudiger covers for him, good defending. It's the biggest game that Ben Chilwell's played in uh, in his career, these uh, two legs, the semi-final. Here's Modric, right-hand side of the penalty area for Real Madrid, getting it in. Thiago Silva, a finalist last year in this competition, just follows it away. And out for a throw, which will be taken on the, the right-hand side. Uh, the referee just uh, blowing his whistle for a moment because there were two balls on the pitch. Uh, Zidane has got rid of the extraneous one. Rudiger volleys it away from a quickly taken Real Madrid throw. Ramos, the beneficiary of that ball forward, and, and Kroos will play it into the feet of Casemiro. 
Casemiro to Modric. Modric can turn. He's got a bit of space. Work for by Vinicius into the right-hand side of the box for Hazard, who's been quite quiet up to this point. Vinicius right-hand side of the box again, cutting it onto his left foot, chipping it inside the penalty area. Benzema couldn't get a jump towards the ball and fell into Azpilicueta as he tried to do so. He's beaten everybody. Goes out of play for a goal kick. We're midway through the first half, and it's still nil-nil. Ali McCoy. Yeah, it's an excellent ball there to the back post, but I have to say, Azpilicueta does brilliantly. He just stands his ground. Benzema knows he has to come back a couple of yards to attempt to get the header. But he's well, well marshaled there. Ball goes out for a back kick. Yeah, definitely the game, as I said. It's a lot more open now, Jim. The first five, ten minutes, it was very, very cagey. But the fact of the matter is, Real Madrid have got to score a goal. So at some time, they have to open up and attempt to do that. You're listening to Chelsea against Real Madrid in the Champions League. It's live on TalkSport with McDonald's McDelivery. Order McDelivery now and get McDonald's delivered straight to your doorstep. 0-0 the score. 1-1 on aggregate when we finished here at the bridge at 10 o'clock tonight. Jason Cundy and Andy Goldstein will take your calls on National Radio. 08717 4 is the number. Get your calls in. Have you say on National Radio from 10 this evening. I say from 10. Uh, nominally from 10. Of course it could go to extra time. And penalties may be on the agenda as well. Uh, only a 1-1 one, one draw after 90 minutes takes it to extra time. Here's Ramos. Nil-nil at the moment. Ramos playing it slightly behind square for Bayern Militao will run round it and he'll be able to bring it forward here for Real Madrid in their uh, traditional white with the exception of the Black Sox tonight to avoid the colour clash with Chelsea who are in their uh, royal blue with the White Sox back for Courtois in fluorescent orange played forward hurriedly by Nacho and then Mendy was pushed to the ground and it's a free kick which will be taken by Real just uh, on the halfway line and it's still nil-nil. Well, so cool, we had the effort. I say, yeah, absolutely. A little bit unfortunate, I felt Christensen. He gets tight on, on Mendy, referee sees it as a free kick. We just appreciate how sharp these boys are at closing each other down. There's another case in point, Jorginho winning it back, trying to chip it over the top for Werner's run. Casemiro attract him every step of the way. Nacho then mopping up, finds Mendy. Mendy back for Sergio Ramos. Ramos who's yet to sign a new contract this could conceivably be his last Champions League tie in a Real Madrid shirt a man who has won the competition four times playing for Real scored in the, the first two of those four finals what did you say earlier Jim 681 did you say appearances just the 681 ah, it's, <laughs> it's just staggering isn't it's, it it's absolutely fantastic it really is here's Vinicius who's uh, about 581 behind him he's got it lazy back for Hazard who's even further adrift Hazard bringing it infield finds Modric Modric right in the heart of the midfield falling towards Karim Benzema Benzema just coming away from the edge of the penalty area taking a couple of steps out to go back in again Kroos now Kroos back for Modric Modric Werner coming across to close him down but he can't win possession back Modric just lends it back for Aidan Militao gets the return ball takes away from Shoshinho Casemiro in towards the edge of the penalty area oh shot on the turn what a good save that was Benzema hit it really sweetly Mendy got down sharply to his left hand side and got his fingers to it to help it round the post the closest that either side had come and it remains nil-nil Jim that's that there is the perfect example of the goal scorer on the pitch one touch brilliant finish and I've got to say what a save it is oh he just bends it all, for all intent and purposes heading that far corner great save in comes the corner Real Madrid's first from Kroos handed away well, an opportunity to bring it further clear is the loose ball ricocheted to the right hand side of the area and Christensen has license to come forward Plays it back for Azpilicueta, and any thoughts of a swift counter-attack very quickly negated, but Chelsea won't mind that, just maintaining possession, but as you say, that's what Karen Benzema is all about. Oh, We've hardly seen anything of him in the first leg before his moment of sheer brilliance, and that one wouldn't have been quite as good a goal, but there wouldn't have been too much in it, it was beautifully hit. Jim, it was fantastic, the ball's fired into him, and he just takes a touch, and his touch... Is it with one intention it's to create a half yard to get the shot away he knows exactly what he's doing and he executed it really very very well but really sharp save Edward Mendy down at his left hand side because that's, that prevented a certain goal Benzema who if you include his days with Leon, 
has now scored in 16 successive Champions League campaigns. Here's Conte. Conte to Havertz. Big moments. Oh, he's hit the bar and on the rebound. Werner scores. And Chelsea lead by Golden Hill. Kai Havertz with the initial effort. He came back off the bar, but the goalkeeper was out of the picture. And Timo Werner was there to nod it into the net. He couldn't miss from two feet out. It's a massive goal for Timo a Champions League semi-final goal, and they're a goal upon the night, two and up on aggregate, and that big closer to Istanbul. What a part in the goal, Kante plays. Absolutely magic. He plays a little given goal with Timo Werner, gets the ball back, he releases Havertz, who dinks it. He's very unlucky with the dink over Courtois, comes back off the crossbar, and who's there? Timo Werner with the easiest. He'll never score a simpler goal. He'll never score a simpler goal. But what a goal for Chelsea. Marvellous goal. Oh, I've got to say, the part that Kante plays is absolutely brilliant. A little given goal. The release of the pass to Havertz. Everything about it was perfect. Well, his winner at West Ham was only his second goal in his last 29 at Premier League and Champions League games. But the much maligned Timo Werner, albeit from close range, might just have scored the goal that sends Chelsea to a Champions League final. Still an hour ahead of us, but Chelsea lead 1-0 on the night and 2-1 on aggregate, courtesy of Werner's 12th goal for the club. And here's Ada Militao. In many ways, it doesn't change too much for Real Madrid because they had to score tonight. Yeah. If they were going to go through, they, they still do. But the difference being, obviously, that if they score now, it only takes the game to extra time rather than giving them the aggregate lead. Amazing, Neil. I've got to say, we're, we're speaking beforehand about the, in the game, Gemma, about Canton, Giorgino probably sitting and holding a little bit more. But I said they would go forward on occasions and didn't Canty do well there? As I said, the given goal is brilliant. Creates a little bit of space. All of a sudden he's through. He commits the defender, slips the ball to Harvard. It's brilliant play all round. And now Chilwell. Trying to find his way forward. Right, the minute tower slides in. Havertz also maligned, but getting the nod tonight, which will be a big confidence booster for him after his performance at the weekend. A preferred to Pulisic in the, the starting lineup and playing a major part in that. And he's got this languid star, hasn't he, Kai Havertz? That yeah. uh, he, he, he just almost looks not that he's not trying but he's he sort of saunters through games but certainly helped him there just the ability to draw the goalkeeper nonchalantly flick it over him very close to scoring himself but setting up his compatriot for the opening goal of the night now Real Madrid making their way forward now Jorginho cutting it out and Rudiger doing well turns away from uh, Vinicius and it'll be played down the line by Chilwell flicked on by Werner but couldn't find Mason Mount Casemiro brings it forward into the uh, feet of Aiden Hazard Hazard's ball out of the, the left-hand touchline for Mendy back again for Kroos in the midfield and Real Madrid still dominating possession but it's Chelsea that lead again a great example there Jim of this kind of unseen work that Jorginho does there it was a lovely ball from Vinicius into the front man Jorginho read it just two steps to his left-hand side intercepted the pass Chelsea win possession back Chelsea back in action against Manchester City Saturday tea time it could be a dress rehearsal for Istanbul it's live on TalkSport 5.30 and you won't hear it anywhere else on national radio Faker others in the chair Sam and Trevor Sinclair uh, talking through the action for Manchester City against Chelsea this coming Saturday and we've got much more live action for you over the course of the weekend Leeds against Tottenham and Liverpool Southampton also live and exclusive to Talk Sport on Saturday the small matter of Derby Sheffield Wednesday from the Championship what will be uh, effectively a relegation decider he yeah, wins just thinking about it yeah. and uh, also Bolton hoping to stay in the top three of League Two with a game to go there at Crawley and we'll bring you that one on Talk Sport two Saturday afternoon as well we have it all covered for you and Manchester United hoping to get to a European final tomorrow night and that one away to Roma kicks off at eight here is Werner the goal scorer making his way forward Rudiger and, and come up in support of him to his right hand side but Werner couldn't find him misplaced pass he's got to be tidier Jim he's got to be tidier it's a real opportunity he's pace and to be fair to Rudiger he wins the initial challenge goes up in support and he should be receiving a better pass from Timo Werner there that's a big opportunity 
Rudiger got back so quickly. The blink of an eye, he was back in position, breathing heavily now, but he didn't half cover the ground, and Werner should have played him in. Without a shadow of a doubt, here's Ada Militao now. Right footed ball swung past Benzema and will drift towards the corner flag. Just misses the corner flag as it goes out of play for a throw. But what a golden chance for Chelsea to have made it too. Yeah, it was a great pick. As I said, Rudiger does really well. He wins the ball in the middle of the park and the ball breaks to Werner, who I think is left in a 1v1 situation. And with his pace, he should get the head down and try and commit Ramos. He brought him forward a little bit and had a great opportunity to return the ball to Rudiger but overhit it. It was a big chance, you're correct. Real Madrid unbeaten in 19 games since the defeat of Levante back in late January. They've only conceded nine in those 19. The tenth goal against them tonight might deny them a place in the Champions League final. Well, they haven't been for three years. Chelsea hoping to get to their first in nine. And they've got a free kick here as Kai Havertz is... Uh, brought down and it's a free kick about 20 yards outside their own penalty area and, and clearly they'll be in no hurry to take it leading Real Madrid by a golden nil let's play four towards Chilwell Chilwell making a, a darting run for lays it back checking and finding Rudiger now Mount into the uh, the feet of Chilwell back for Mount again just in off the, the left hand touchline Thomas Tuchel uh, talking Ben Chilwell through the game felt that uh, Chilwell should have made a, a run there for, for Mount to play him 100%. in 100% he should have because Vinicius has switched off Jim he totally switched off defensively and Chilwell should have gone in behind uh, Tuchel quick to let him know uh, not the kind of manager that ever leaves anything unspoken Thomas Tuchel uh, if you make a mistake he'll tell you ball play for by Christensen bounces Werner trying to get on the end of it Ramos is there Ramos uh, mopping up uh, under pressure from Havertz who's uh, judged to have caught him just sandwich between the Havertz and Conte and it's uh, a free kick which will be taken by Real Madrid out towards their left hand touch but Chelsea leading 1-0 with that Timo Werner goal and they're 2-1 up on aggregate I'm liking the look at Chelsea the last 10 minutes or so Jim the they're mixing it up a little bit as well they're having some intricate passing in the middle of the park but at the same time they've gone long there in behind as Villacueta plays one over the top to Havertz and all of a sudden you've got the Real Madrid back four facing their own goal and a little bit fortunate to win a free kick with a foul on Ramos Modric fires it out towards Vinicius right hand side of the penalty area gets it away from Chilwell finds Kroos Kroos has to run round it can't get into a shooting position but can lay it out to his left hand side for Nacho Nacho to Mendy Mendy back for Casemiro out to the Real Madrid left hand side again Aiden Hazard just uh, wanting the ball into feet as he made the darting run off the edge of the penalty here trying to draw Thiago Silva out the ball finding Modric over the top Benzema that's another outstanding save from Edouard Mendy ball played inside the area Benzema running onto it got his head to it and it was going to creep underneath the bar but Mendy read it well jumped up perfect timing right hand fingers to it tips it over the bar for a corner movement is incredible his movement's incredible as soon as Modric gets the ball he just makes a beeline for the penalty spot and wins his header again another top save from Mendy the second of the night to deny Benzema 1-0 Chelsea lead a lot of work to do yet a second Real Madrid corner taken short for Mendy outside the penalty area now to Modric Modric not quite in shooting territory as Havertz uh, Aspilicueta I beg your pardon goes down inside the penalty area and then there are players from both sides squaring up to each other was Ramos the player involved referee's got his yellow card out uh, was it Ramos that was the, the one that pushes uh, Aspilicueta to the ground seems that way and it is a yellow card shown by uh, Daniele Orsato to the Real Madrid captain yeah, you can see it. There's no surprise that Ramos is involved. He goes down. He's not happy. He definitely throws him over. Referee's actually got a good view of it as well. He is getting held a little bit, but he reacts completely aggressively and wrongly and correctly picks up a, a yellow card. Uh, a fourth of the season. Uh, the fact that he's only his fourth of the season perhaps shows how many games he's been through injury. <laughs> he is a man who's been sent off 26 times yeah. in his career. That's quite a lot. I've got to say, I want to go back to, to Jimmy Talks about the movement from Benzema there for that header and, and the fantastic save. When the ball drops to Modric's left foot, 
I just took my eyes up and I looked at Benson. He just knew that it was going to be delivered into that area. He made a beeline for it. He was very unlucky with the header. Ramos follows it away. And, uh, he hit Nacho on his way out. Goes out for another throw, which will be taken on the, the Chelsea right. Chelsea have twice had the ball in the net. The first one rightly disallowed for an offside against Werner. But Werner did score after Havertz's little flick hit the bar. And Werner couldn't miss, heading it into an empty net from uh, a couple of feet out. Chelsea lead. That lead only intact thanks to two outstanding saves from Edouard Mendy. One diving away to his left to tip a Benzema effort round the post. And the second to help a header over the bar. Throw to Chelsea, taken by Aspilicueta, who's got uh, good ground on that. And there's uh, a collision between Werner and Casemiro in the midfield. Conte uh, winning it back, flicks it to his left-hand side for Chilwell. The referee just waited to see what developed, but has now given the free kick against Werner for his part in that uh, incident with Casemiro. And it's a free kick that Tony Kroos takes quickly. Little one-two with Casemiro back for Kroos. Uh, Ramos and then to Nacho, out towards Modric. Modric with Mendy ahead of him on the left-hand side side as Pelicueta stopped the ball being played immediately uh, but Modric in coming back in possession uh, just uh, exchanges passes with Casemiro and now Casemiro can bring it forward after Mendy was caught over on the touchline by uh, Christensen and that might be a yellow card as well it is yellow card for Christensen and they're beginning to tot up now they are and again it was good intricate football there from Real Madrid and Christensen definitely comes down and stamps on Mendy's left foot, another good decision. He's not got too many wrong so far, the referee, I have to tell you. Christensen in the book, Jorginho there as well, so to uh, Ramos. Uh, it's 1 0 to Chelsea. Werner on the score sheet, most importantly. He's got Mount making a run ahead of him here. And Werner will play it instead out towards Chilwell. White shirts back in position. Chelsea still in possession, but lose it as uh, Werner flicks it forward towards Mount. And then Casemiro tries to angle one four for Vinicius. They were trying to isolate against Rudiger. Rudiger had enough of a head start to be able to shepherd it back to his goalkeeper anyway, but the. Uh, the idea was certainly the right one and was applauded by Vinicius as they looked to, to mix it up and try and turn the Chelsea back line. Conte can bring it forward as Pelicueta takes the pace off it and leaves it for Havertz making a run down the Chelsea right. As Pelicueta again. Havertz back to Conte getting it past Tony Kroos. Lay back for Christensen to Thiago Silva and now for Rudiger. Everybody in the Chelsea back line getting a, a touch of the ball in this move as Chilwell then works it back for Rudiger. And having gone from right to left, they begin their journey back that opposite direction. Christensen. Christensen into Jorginho, just dropping deep in front of the set of halves. Rudiger again. Rudiger to Mount, who can take it on the half turn. Finds the, the dark-haired chill while under pressure from Vinicius, who's uh, pushed him to the ground. And it's a free kick to Chelsea, 20 yards into Real Madrid territory. Five to go to the break alley with Chelsea leading 1-0. Yep, and as ever so at this moment in time, I'm just thinking if che Chelsea can get out this left-hand side a bit quicker. Jim Mason Mounts finding himself in a little bit of space, you know, in behind Vinicius and just in front of Eda Militao. And he's in maybe five, ten yards of space. And he's getting a little bit frustrated with, the, with his own teammates, the Chelsea lads not finding him because he's picking up good areas in that little pocket there. Well, Ben Chilwell down by the corner flag had been uh, played in and uh, the ball is judged to have hit him last and gone out of play for a goal kick. And uh, the replay suggests that the officials, who, to be fair, were a long way away from it and unsighted, did get it wrong. Should have been a corner. Here's Courtois inside his own six-yard box under pressure from the work rate of Werner Havertz uh, chasing gamely as well Eda Militao can bring it forward pinging a long ball over the top for Vinicius to chase against Chilwell this time but the angle on the pass was wrong and he goes out for a throw that'll be taken on the Chelsea left-hand side that'll suit Chelsea Jim just the last five minutes or so they decided to go longer Real Madrid with not much effect what will Zinedine Zidane be demanding that he sees more of in the second half from his team? Well, I think getting balls into the box, to tell you the truth. I mean, a, a couple of opportunities that they have, you've got to say Benzema looked really, really lively. 
and he's got himself in front of defenders and but for a couple of great saves you know they could certainly be level or even ahead so I think Zidane must be looking to his team who have looked tidy enough in possession and both, both teams in my opinion have looked tidy enough in possession here's Conte Conte with uh, Havertz making a run for Werner, letting it run. Mason Mount has it, left-hand side of the box. Mount coming back inside, trying to get the shot in. Werner flicking it towards goal, but it looped up rather than getting any real purchase to it. Courtois can make it a very comfortable catch. Tony Cruz did well there. They came across to give Ramos a hand. Mount comes in, he looks as though he's just about to get his half yard to get his shot away, but good defending by Cruz, doubled up on him. Cross now for Benzema. And then back for Kroos who finds Modric and finishes again supplying the width on the Real Madrid right and the player who scored twice in the first leg of the quarterfinal against Liverpool back for Modric Modric for Kroos and now level with the edge of the penalty area it's uh, Furlong Mendy the Real Madrid left wing back Benzema with a, a little layoff held round the corner by Hazard but they uh, couldn't quite feed it into the path of Nacho who'd made his way forward and it's headed by Casemiro out towards the uh, far touchline where Havertz, his touch was slightly awry and goes out of play for a throw that's going to be taken on the Real Madrid left. Two to go to the break. It's going to be an awful lot of time to be added on. Uh, maybe a minute, Chelsea leading Real Madrid 1-0. Timo Werner's close range header. 2-1 on aggregate and Chelsea whispering 46 minutes away for a place in the Champions League final think back to that well, I hope I'm not tempting fate by saying this but think back to that semi-final against Atletico seven years ago where they scored at the same kind of time a Fernando Torres goal and Atletico equalised about now got themselves back into the game just before the break here's Kroos Kroos down towards uh, Vinicius Vinicius coming in off the right flank taking on Chilwell and beating him showing a clean pair of heels Conte came back and helped out Mount then back for Rudiger Rudiger forward towards the Mount who's uh, busting a gut to try and poke it on past the Ada Militao Vinicius with a lovely turn that was too good for Rudiger who caught him and it's a free kick to Real Madrid on the touchline uh, which Kroos wants to take quickly but Rudiger a man who knows him so well from uh, international football just stopped that happening and Real Madrid will uh, get the bodies forward they don't load the box though Kroos firing it square the final minute of the first half Benzema bringing it forward Benzema out towards uh, Furlong Mendy Mendy giving it away and Jorginho can uh, bring it forward he's clipped it into space for Havertz Havertz has got Werner in support the game again really stretched Chelsea have got two coming forward and Mike on the left hand side of the box Havertz trying to go alone and Ramos just kept an eye on him and pokes it away but had he been able to switch the play earlier Chelsea had a man over moves the ball moves the ball all day just takes a heavy touch again moves alive in the back post Chilwell's there Werner had two or three options there Havertz and picked the wrong one he tries to do a step over and the touch is too heavy and it's good defending to put the ball out for the corner but again another big opportunity and uh, first score of the uh, of the game for Chelsea but no time to take it the uh, referee saying that there's no need for any extra time at the end of that first half and the players leave the field here at Stamford Bridge with Chelsea leading by a goal to nil Timo Werner on 28 minutes Edouard Mendy with a couple of very good stops to deny Karim Benzema an equalising goal Chelsea 45 minutes away from a Champions League final against Manchester City and the Chelsea substitutes have been out warming up for the last couple of minutes or so. Uh, but the starting 11 come out now, uh, just from the tunnel beneath us. Real Madrid making their way out very shortly from away to our right-hand side. Their dressing room uh, in a, a, a temporary building in behind the, the north stand, the Matthew Harding uh, stand away to our right-hand side and Zinedine Zidane making his way down the touchline the players will soon follow uh, so this is how they're lining up Chelsea Mendy in goal Christensen Silva and Rudiger Azpilicueta Conte Jorginho Mount and Chilwell and Havertz and Werner up front Real Madrid Courtois in goal Eda Militao Ramos and Nacho and Vinicius Kroos Casemiro and Mendy with Modric in behind Hazard and Karim Benzema 
In terms of possession, it's been two-thirds Real Madrid, one-third Chelsea so far. The shot count has been dead level. Uh, the, the crime count certainly hasn't been. There have been 14 free kicks conceded uh, by Chelsea, only six by Real Madrid. There was a flurry of them early on. Uh, but Thomas Tuchel will be delighted pretty much with what he's seen. The one thing he has to do, though, Ali, is stop them getting Modric in possession and Modric has been finding Benzema for fun. Absolutely. I think that's key, Jim, to the second half from Chelsea's point of view. As I said to, to Sags there, I don't mind Modric, in, uh, Modric even in possession, 40 yards from goal, you know, with the two boys back in position. But if he picks up in areas 20, 25 yards from goal, you know, he is, he's a clear threat, he sees a pass, and he's got the sort of telepathy with uh, Benzema, which we've already seen um, in the first half with a great, a couple of great saves, I have to say again, from Edward Mendy. So, no changes at this juncture. Start of the second half. 45 minutes to go for Chelsea. If they don't concede, they're through to the Champions League final for the third time there in 2008 and 2012 will they be able to add 2021 as well the free kick given away right at the start of the uh, second half for a foul on Kai Havertz right in front of us on the uh, Chelsea right hand side they kick it from left to right as we look at it defending the Shedek and attacking the Matthew Hardy stand away to our right and as Pelicueta sends the free kick forwards over hit goes over the head of Werner and straight through for Thibaut Courtois away to our right a man who played the more than 150 games in Chelsea colours only conceded three goals in his last nine games but beaten by Timo Werner tonight Nacho laying it back for Courtois plays it out towards Ada Militao and he's pinged a long ball for which Benzema will chase over on the far touchline. He can't keep it in. And it's out of play for a throw which will be taken on the Chelsea left. You're listening to Chelsea against Real Madrid in the Champions League. It's live on TalkSport with Music Magpie, the UK's number one phone recycler. Get cash for your tech the smart way. And alongside me is Ali McCoyst. Yep, more of the same from Chelsea, second half. Jim, they started pretty brightly. I know it was only a couple of minutes going, but they're pressing high up the park. Forced the long bottle again there from Eddie Militao, which brings him was under real pressure to keep in, which he couldn't do with Christian alongside him. Christensen alongside him. Uh, Christensen bringing it forward here, finds Azpilicueta, right footed ball inside the box. Havertz hit the bar again. Right footed ball was an absolute treat, and Havertz attacked it 10 yards from goal. Powers a header, and he beat Courtois, and he hit the bar, and Chelsea a fraction away from being two up. What a header, what a ball, what a header. He's really unlucky. As Pelicueta puts the ball in, it's the curling one away from the goalkeeper, Jim. He does really well, Havertz. He gets up above Eder Militao. Header perfectly placed into the far corner goalkeeper has absolutely no chance but unfortunately it's just a little too high and he hits the bar again well you just wonder how big a moment that could prove to be 2-0 up 3-1 up on aggregate and Chelsea certainly would have been dreaming of Istanbul as it is it's still just a, a fractional lead Havertz again doing well getting the better of Kroos in the midfield as Pelicueta made a darting run past him but Havertz has gone back for Conte instead now to Christensen and Thiago Silva bringing it forward hoping to reach back-to-back -back finals with different clubs Golo Conte I know I shouldn't laugh but there was a brilliant mean knock now there Havertz on Tony Cruz so I'm quite entitled to have a little smile to myself <laughs> that was magic <laughs> yeah he made the most of it he's playing with play with a smile on his face yeah. by Havertz but he, he's, he's clearly blossoming now without doubt feeling that he's uh, he belongs at this status at this level and he's done well tonight he's hit the bar twice first time that he did it it ricocheted up in the air and back down for Werner to head in second time it hit the bar and went over got to, see to Chelsea got to see mate saw him a few times at Leverkusen and was really really impressed massively impressed not the greatest start here at Chelsea but I've got to say Jim, I was always very confident that he would turn the corner. And he is still such a young man, only 21. You think of a, a player with a £71 million price tag yeah. on his shoulders, but he is only 21. Uh, here's Mendy. He's played well tonight, Kai Havertz. Back for Ramos. 
who's 14 years his senior, turned into the uh, the midfield for Casemiro. Now Edam Militao and back for Ramos again. Ramos will bring it forward. Mendy thought about making a run. It's fell on Mendy, making a, a run down the uh, Real Madrid left. Uh, but instead, Ramos played a conservative pass forward. And now Modric drops deep to pick up possession. Finds Kroos. Kroos to Hazard. Turn around the corner. Aspilicueta knocked it away. Christensen turning it forward. Havertz couldn't control it. Casemiro spearing it over the top. But Thiago Silva heads it away. Conte. Guides it down for Christensen. As Piliqueta through the midfield here for Jorginho. Chelsea leading by a golden hill. Two on up on aggregate and bring it forward now with Chilwell. Down the left-hand side. Plenty of room with which to work. Chilwell clipping inside the area. Havertz trying to come round the back. And it was an important nod away by Nacho to stop it falling onto his right foot. Havertz did pick it up out on the touchline. And has it again from a pass from Azpilicueta. We talked in the first half about the fact that Vinicius, as a, as a right wing back, is uh, guilty of dereliction of duty at times defensively, and Chilwell made the most of it there. Great ball to release him from Rudiger again. You can see he's very uncomfortable in that position, Vinicius. I just wonder when Zidane might decide he's got to change it. Vinicius coming in now, catches Ben Chilwell, and it's a free kick. Uh, six yards outside the penalty area, but out towards the left-hand touchline. Chance to pile the bodies forward, flood the penalty area, and see what happens here from a set-piece. I just thought that was another opportunity, Jim, for Chelsea. Great break down the left-hand side as Rudiger releases Chilwell. The an opportunity to put the ball into the box. I thought Werner and Havertz could have made more positive runs. Well, Chilwell will stand over this. Everybody else vacates the scene. Jorginho standing hands on hips, about 10 yards outside the penalty area, waiting for any seconds that might drop his way. Havertz is on the edge of the D. Thiago Silva in the D. As Piliqueta standing in what at the moment is an offside position. Christensen and Rudiger making a darting runs in towards the back post. Swung inside the box and headed over the bar by Thiago Silva. Well, it was a very good set piece, well attacked by the veteran Brazilian, but he couldn't keep his header down. It's a chance, you know, it's a big chance. First thing you've got to say again, great quality, the delivery from Chilwell, as you would expect. Thiago Silva attacks it, and he's got the run on him, and I just think from that position, Jim, he should be hitting the target. Well, in the first half of the first leg... Chelsea had a succession of chances. They were fantastic in that first 45 minutes in the in the rain in Madrid. And you know, the observations were made that okay, it was 1-1, but they hadn't really got anything tangible to show for their complete dominance. They were so much better. And they're just in a similar vein now. They're creating chances. They're creating good, solid, better than half chances. They're not putting them away. We just wonder how costly it could prove to be. Hopefully not too costly, Jim, but the set, we asked how they play second half, and I thought they were, you know, they would be fairly happy with Modric and Madrid having possession 40, 50 yards from the goal, but I'll tell you right now, they have started on the front foot, they're defending, they're pressing high up the park, Chelsea, um, and they've certainly had one or two opportunities in the opening five, ten minutes or so. That's Ali McCoy, alongside me, Jim Pratt, Declan McCarthy, our in-stadium producer, and Mark Saggers back at base at the... Talksport Towers. Tomorrow night it's Manchester United hoping to make it through to uh, Europa League final. So to Arsenal, we've got the Roma Manchester United game live for you with uh, Dean Ashton alongside me and everything of any consequence as soon as it happens from the Emirates on Talksport tomorrow night. And a reminder Saturday, Chelsea next in action away to Manchester City. The City could win the title. Here's Mount through and he's put it over the bar. And it's another glorious opportunity that's been passed up. Played into Mason Mount inside right channel. And he sprinted inside the penalty area. And he thrashed it towards goal. But got too much on it and he clears the bar. Brilliant from Werner. Absolutely brilliant from Werner to release Mount. And you know my, my initial reaction was. Well, he's got to score when he takes the opportunity to shoot. But could he have squared it to Havertz? And I think he possibly could have. But when he decides that he's not going to square it. He plain and simply has to score. But brilliant from Werner. Just gets caught underneath the ball. It's, it's never nearly going in. It's always going over the bar. The goalkeeper comes out, spreads himself. But that is the best opportunity of the second half so far. Uh, Thomas Tuchel couldn't hide his dismay 
That's three good chances that Chelsea have created in the opening nine minutes of this second period. They haven't been able to take any of them. And it remains 1-0 to Chelsea, still in the box seat. Real Madrid have to score, but Chelsea have had opportunities to make this safe. Now, the contretemps on the far touch line as Eddie Militao tried to find a way past Ben Chilwell. Chilwell, sensing that he was beaten, uh, pushed a, a left arm yeah. up and contact was made with the face of Eddie Militao, who's gone down. It's a, a free kick, nothing more than that. Uh, not even really a word from the, the referee towards Chilwell, certainly not a yellow card offence. Here's Mendy playing it back inside his own half. Nacho, Ford. Flick round the corner, Benzema's got it after a nice touch from Aiden Hazard, but the Frenchman was offside, and it's a free kick to Chelsea, who lead 1-0 with 10 goals in the second half. Do you know the problem with Real Madrid? Benzema's isolated, you know, he hasn't anybody around about him. You look at the Chelsea lads, you know, when Werner's there, Havertz is there, Mount's there, they've got options, they can play round about one each, one each other. But I tell you, when, when Benzema get the, gets the ball, Hazard's miles away from him. We know Vinicius is on the right-hand side, and he is definitely isolated, which is good news for Chelsea, of course. Modric, over on the, the right-hand touchline, pulling it back towards the edge of the box for eight a minute tau. Uh, Manchester City fans, I don't know who they will be supporting tonight, who they would rather be facing in the uh, the final innings. Would you like me to tell you? Well, I sense it would be Real Madrid. Yeah, I don't think there's any <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is either. Um, that was certainly the gist of it, and speaking to uh, friends and colleagues last night, the Manchester City persuasion up in uh, up in the, the North West, wanting Real Madrid to, to get the job done this evening, but Chelsea have been so effective. Because they could go into that depending on what happens uh, live on TalkSport Saturday Tea Time with the Chelsea having beaten City twice in, in quick succession potentially. Uh, Manchester City hoping to clinch the Premier League title this weekend. Victory against Chelsea will do that and uh, we've got the game for you live on TalkSport 5.30 on Game Day Live Saturday Tea Time. That's pretty quite a works the ball forward. It's a sliding challenge from Nacho that puts it out. And a throw that will be taken on the, the Chelsea right. 11 gone second half. I'm really enjoying the contrasting styles in the middle of the park. Cruz and Modric love a little bit of time on the ball. Like to make one or two passes. Which clearly they're not been allowed to do with Canty. Who is in and around them all the time. That's Pelicueta has uh, exhibited his long throw on several occasions tonight. That was another one to try and turn Sergio Ramos. Mount chased after it. Ball guarded back for Courtois. Aspilicueta picking it up, finding Rudiger. Rudiger is wearing a, a black protective mask tonight. Played for by Chilwell, but it was hit and hope with his uh, weaker right foot and easily picked up at the back by Ada Militao. Casemiro turning it forward. Benzema coming to meet it. Back to the direction of play. Chests it down. Rudiger making life difficult for him. Benzema ended up on the deck. No foul. Real Madrid has still got it with Modric guiding it away from the goal scorer of Werner. Chelsea leading 1-0. And Kroos can play it forward. Lead 1-0. They've had chances. Thiago Silva and Mount most notably. It's the ball is played forward here at the other end for Casemiro. And Rudiger again coming across, mops up. He's played well tonight. Oh, you Rudiger. better believe he has. You better believe he has. And that's brilliant covering as well. Tremendous ball from Cruz, from Casemiro, who made the run from deep in the middle, midfield. Rudiger comes in from his left-hand side position, makes a very timely tackle. Now, Mendy is not make Conte. Hazard picks it up and uh, pirouettes neatly, does a, a 180 in possession. Vinicius lays it back. Casemiro chipping inside the area, but it's easy for Edouard Mendy to come out and make the save. And then will look as though he's going to get rid of the ball quickly. I don't think that was ever his intention, really. And now we'll uh, use the full six seconds and more. But rolls it out for Rudiger and Chelsea will build steadily from the back but Chilwell's giving it away and goes out of play for a throw which will be taken over on the far touchline Sergio Ramos has got it remember he's not been on a, a losing side or a side eliminated from the Champions League for six years but he's half an hour away from it here Real Madrid goal the whole complexion of the tie changes and it would have things dead level on aggregate again and also negate Chelsea's away goal advantage from last week Courtois Bringing it outside the box. Back for Ramos. 
Ramos venturing forward. Hazard trying to flick it on. Benzema hoping to supply him with a return ball. Hazard chasing after it. Rudiger again did well. Stepped up and got it away from Modric. Clicked over the top. Havertz could be in here. Goalkeeper back pedalling. And Havertz couldn't drive it into the bottom left hand corner. Courtois, who was going backwards and backwards, just got his weight going down to his right hand side. Made the save. And it's another golden opportunity that Chelsea had passed up. Oh, some great save but come on he's got to score he's got to score and he does it again brilliant touch opens the goal up he's just got his side foot and show a little bit of composure side foot into the back of the net listen it's a great save of course it is but come on you've got to score if you're a Real Madrid player you might begin to be sensing that this could be your night on the basis that Chelsea could and probably should be out of sight it's still only 1-0 Cross to Modric, Modric now to Nacho, Nacho making his way forward, his fellow Mendy, Mendy to Benzema, Benzema taking it on, can't take and uh, get it away, Thiago Silva does the rest, Ramos coming to meet it with Werner who uh, had beaten him but had fouled him and then Werner kicks the ball away, and some other referees would have uh, produced a, a yellow card for that, not Daniele Osato but it is a a free kick and it just has a little word with Werner Real Madrid in a hurry to get on with it Modric playing it back for Kroos well, this, should, this should be done in Dusty Jim it really should you yep. just sitting here thinking now please don't let it come back and bite Chelsea because this should be 3-4 anything you like in here well there were at least two goals better than Real Madrid in the first half last week more even second period and they've been at least two goals better than Real Madrid in the the opening of the second half tonight having garnered the advantage in the first half so if there were five up on aggregate at this stage it seriously wouldn't be doing Real Madrid a disservice but as it is the aggregate leads only one and here's Vinicius making his way inside the box it's handed away by Jorginho brought down by Chilwell hammers it clear Ramos backpedalling does well as the ball comes out of the West London night skies only looking into the lights and has still been able to head it away from Werner good header now by Aspilicueta and Chelsea will try and guard it forward Havertz has done really well because he stumbled initially then got back to his feet in uh, getting possession back and there was a bad challenge from Nacho an angry reaction from Aspilicueta and the referee will just go and try and sort things out here but it'll be a yellow card for Nacho certainly I hope that's all it is I know Havertz, re Havertz reacted at the same time I want to take you back to the cross when Vinicius went down the right hand side brilliant defending from Jorginho takes up his position well clear free kick there Nacho and Havertz brings him down puts his hands over him and reacts a little bit Havertz there wants, him, wants Nacho off him who grabs him by the throat I've got to say well certainly grabs his jersey not grabs him by the throat Thomas Tuchel indeed not happy at all yellow card that's all it's given so a yellow card for Nacho so that's two of the centre-halves in the book it's going to be a double change here for Real Madrid retaining the pack and the players coming off are Vinicius and Ferran Mendy and they're being replaced by Asensio and Valverde Federico Valverde who missed the first leg played right back at Anfield but uh, he's a uh, a uh, Uruguayan international central midfielder by trade and Asensio a winger coming on as well so a double change made by Zidane 17 minutes into the second half on talk sport and Chelsea are within half an hour now of another Champions League final Courtois playing it out from the back finding Casemiro Casemiro to Kroos and down he comes down the left hand side for Nacho Nacho's got Asensio ahead of him Asensio who has scored in four successive games recently including the match at home to Liverpool and a good back heel from Nacho finds him and he's um, just to the pace of the game instantly as the ball came into him he's won a throw off and Golo Conte so a double change made Ali just uh, a look at how they've shuffled things around yeah. taking Vinicius off well it's not a major surprise apart from that the, the, the opportunity he created in the middle of the, the start of the bigger part in the start of the second half he's been very very quiet Vinicius in fact he's looked out his depth in that right hand side playing in a, an area clearly he doesn't want to be in particularly defensively the one thing we know about Asensio on the left hand side he can finish and he can create 
and he has it now and he'll make his way forward finding Nacho uh, they've uh, gone to a back four of Real Madrid ball inside the penalty area which uh, Rudiger heads away uh, Valverde who's now playing at right back but as an attacking right back picks it up on the right hand touchline gets it past Chilwell inside the penalty eight and Hazard good save by Mendy with his legs back in from Casemiro Benzema uh, probably would have been in an offside position had he made an attempt to go for that it's taken the touch of a Chelsea player on his way through and out for Real Madrid's first quarter of the second half yeah it's a comfortable save you'd expect your goalkeeper to make the save but you can guess by the two substitutions that uh, Zidane has made he's wanting more particularly in wider areas Jim nice shot from Hazard that first in nearly half an hour in comes the corner and headed away easily by Havertz at the near post out as far as Hazard Hazard trying to get away from Werner who's fouled in and it's another free kick to Real Madrid another chance to keep the big guns forward Militao is in there Ramos stands by the penalty spot and Nacho who's unmarked left hand side of the penalty area telling Crows take it quickly I'm yeah. free uh, but Havertz has dropped back thankfully yeah, Chelsea have got the defensive organisation right. Got to keep an eye on Ramos in the middle. And it comes in and Aspilicueta with a diving header steers it away. And then Werner goes shoulder to shoulder uh, with Kroos and can bring it away. And he's made 20 yards, 30 yards. Got on Golo Conte to his left hand side. He's running at Valverde. He's found Conte. And again, Courtois can make the save. Played it in left hand side of the area. Edmund Tau coming back. Courtois there. Between them, they got the touch. And they were able to get it to safety. Jim, what a run. What a run. Kante makes. Oh, what a run he makes. And he must be screaming at Werner. Screaming at him. Werner does the right thing. He does perfectly. We criticise him in the first half for his decision making, for the lack of quality in the final pass. He got it spot on there. He committed defender. Slipped it to his left hand side. Kante makes an unbelievable run. But again, Jimmy's got to score. It is one of those nights where if Chelsea don't do it, and it is a big if at the moment because they're in control, they're looking comfortable, but if they don't do it, they will only have themselves to blame. Here's Hazard on the left-hand side. Pulisic's going to be coming on shortly. As Piliqueta sticking his foot in. Ramos uh, trying to get the better of Werner. And is running back and finds Eda Militao. Play four now towards Modric. Modric to Kroos. Kroos taking on Aspilicueta. Aspilicueta couldn't get there. Asensio trying to uh, work it forward. It then breaks for the Chelsea captain who can play it off Modric and add a play for a throw. Chelsea going to make the change now. It looks that way. And Pulisic's going to be coming on here and he will replace Timo Werner. So that's the first change as far as Chelsea are concerned. Pulisic for Werner Ali with just over a quarter of the game remaining. Um, a little bit surprised, believe it or not. I've got to say it at Werner, the one that's gone off. Um, because I think with his pace, certainly in the last 10, 15 minutes or so, we can see Chelsea are a real threat on the counter-attack. There is absolutely no doubt, Jim, they should be further ahead in this game. It's a... It's a, it's a I wouldn't say it's a strange decision. I would, I would be bringing Pulisic on all day. I'm just not so sure Werner would be the one I'd be taking off. So the man that scored Chelsea's goal in the uh, second leg is replaced by the man who scored Chelsea's goal in the first leg. First American ever to score in a, a Champions League semi-final. Christian Pulisic when he uh, gave the Blues the lead in Madrid last week. Real Madrid have a throw and we're exactly midway through the second half here on Talk Sport. Chelsea getting ever closer. Benzema coming back. Jorginho poking it on. Sergio Ramos has got it. Finds his goalkeeper Courtois taking a touch, getting it back on his left foot inside the six-yard box. His touch took it back towards goal and the pressure was... He didn't want to go to the right, did he? Well, he didn't, he absolutely didn't, as Pulisic was coming in that side, but it just looked horrible for a moment, he did get it clear. You're listening to Chelsea against Real Madrid in the Champions League, it's live on Talk Sport with McDonald's McDelivery. Order McDelivery now on the Uber Eats or Just Eat app. We deliver. Chelsea leading 1-0, 2-1 up on Andriga, Conte bringing it forward. He's got two options to his left-hand side, plays it into Chilwell. Chilwell back for Conte again. Now Jorginho. Back from him to Christensen. Christensen to Silva. 
Silva, who's the only Chelsea outfield player inside his own half. Rudiger and trying to get another one of those balls forward to, to get round the back of the back line. Valverde dealt with it, and the Uruguayan smacks it forward upfield. Benzema's just been feeding on scraps, not even that really. Second half to Chelsea's credit, and still the clean sheet is intact with just over 20 minutes remaining. I mean, Chelsea have been excellent second half, Jim, you, you, you've got to say that, but clearly the concern would be they've not added to the lead. Havertz, who's been uh, one of the guilty parties, uh, judged to have uh, raised his boot there, an indirect free kick given against him. They're just start trying to uh, deal with the bouncing ball, but raised his boot too high. Four from Kroos. Hazard. Coming back inside his own half, uh, dispossessed by a combination of uh, Christensen and Conte. I thought the referee very well placed again. So it was a foul. And it's a free kick to Real Madrid. Just in the centre circle. It should be in the centre circle. Gross taking it from 10 yards adrift of that. And then gets it back and spins one out towards the right-hand side for Eda Militao. Very lucky he got a free kick there, Hazard Jim. Very, very fortunate. Because I'll tell you, once he had lost it, there's two or three Chelsea players ready to go on a break. And I think it looked about three or four against two or three. So, very fortunate Real Madrid and Hazard to get that free kick. Thomas Tuchel's uh, PSG won 3 at Real in the group stage last season. So, he's got a, a good history against them. Uh, it looks as though he might be able to do a number on them here. But, as we've been saying, uh, risk of labouring the point. Chelsea passed up so many opportunities to put this out of sight. Now Pulisic, great injection of pace round Casemiro. Right-footed ball inside the penalty, easily claimed by Courtois. And Tuchel down beneath us on the edge of the technical area, shouting, keep on pushing, keep on pushing. He knows that the second goal is there. And if it were the cup, surely that would be the end. You couldn't see Real Madrid coming back from 2-0 down. But when they're only 1-0 down, an equaliser could be on the cards. Haven't seen too many sights of goal in the second half. They had those two in the first half where Mendy did brilliantly to deal with them, particularly the first one from Benzema. She tipped round the post. He sends a kick now, spiralling down towards the right-hand touchline, and it goes out of play off Pulisic for a throw, which will be taken on the Real Madrid left. Chelsea. Again, that was brilliant, Jim, on the right-hand side here from Mount. Free kick. Oh. He's just beginning to get himself involved in the game, Mount, so taking some lovely touches, forcing the free kick uh, from Cruz, which is correctly going to be a, uh, a yellow card. But down the right-hand side there, he was brilliant. Took a couple of touches, went by Nacho, and again earns himself a half yard to put the quality ball into the box, which he didn't do. It was too near the goalkeeper, but he's certainly looking brighter the last ten minutes or so, Mason Mount. Uh, so Tony Cross, who was uh, in the Bayern Munich side that lost to Chelsea in the final back in 2012, comes the third Real Madrid player booked tonight. Christensen standing over this free kick. She will have made a darting run forward. Christensen in no hurry to take it, now sends it forward. It's uh, chested down by Pulisic. Good turn from him, taking on Nacho. Gets towards the byline and wins a corner, which will be the first that Chelsea have had tonight. They did get one right at the end of the first half. There was no time to take, but this will be the first corner that they have had the chance to deliver inside the penalty area. And we've seen that Real Madrid have struggled, Ali, to be able to deal with high ball inside their box. The headers that Chelsea have created. What can the Blues do from here? Yeah, good run in behind there from Pulisic, a free kick, take it well on his chest, turn Nacho, looks as though he's going to deliver it in, Nacho got back to make the tackle, corner Chelsea. Mason Mount to take it, it's going to be an away swinger, fired towards the edge of the six yard box, it was a Chelsea contact but not enough contact, Thiago Silva making a darting run, a diagonal one across the bottom right hand corner of the six yard box and he got his forehead to it but not enough. And he goes wide of the far post. By the way, Jim, you've called it again. You've absolutely called it. He times his run, Thiago Silva, perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Gets in front of the defender, gets up. It is a clear header, it's a, it's, but it's not a clean header. And he just puts it wide of the target. Again, it's a better opportunity than, than you would imagine because Chelsea, I, we keep saying it, Jim, I hope they don't ruin us because that's four or five chances they missed in the second half alone. Yeah, five shots to two in the second half for Chelsea and all five have been very presentable chances. 
Possession still very much in Real Madrid's favour. Two thirds, one third. That hasn't changed throughout the game. Chelsea again doing well to win it back inside their own box. Able to guide it away with Thiago Silva. Rudiger. And he's won a throw of Casemiro. Uh, again, Chelsea will be in uh, no discernible hurry to take it. The clock ticking on. 74 minutes on the clock. 16 minutes to go. Chelsea fans will be... Well, every nerve will be shredded. and They'll be biting every fingernail, I'm sure. Chilwell with the throw down the touchlines. Helped on. Good pressure from Pulisic, who's won it back from Sergio Ramos. But Nacho came across the cover for him. And Ramos then gets it back to his goalkeeper Courtois clearing and slicing straight out of play almost down the tunnel and it's a throw which will be taken on the Chelsea right hand side and Rodrigo will be coming on for Real Madrid very shortly Rodrigo, 20 year old who got a hat-trick in the Champions League against Galatasaray last season making the second youngest score of a Champions League hat-trick behind Raul he'll be on very shortly the winger Casemiro heading it back Real Madrid getting into a position where they've got to start gambling now yeah. with 15 to go 100% that's what you're going to do now Zidane he's no other option Ramos with a, a curious misplaced ball across the penalty area behind everybody but there was plenty of time for Eddie Militao to chase after it and field it now played four towards Modric Modric under pressure from Jorginho telling pressure as well he's done well he's won it back uh, Jorginho finding Mount and it's a uh, Chelsea throw about 10 yards from the corner flag that they're attacking they're managing this very well indeed yeah but that's what we're saying they are I've got to say again good defence and what now from Jorginho winning possession back from Modric high up in an area that will shoot Chelsea so Casemiro off Rodrigo on so they've gone to a back four and they've now taken off the defensive minded midfielder to bring a winger on um, it, it tells you everything, these substitutions, about exactly where they're going. Having to try and get well, the possession the last in of better dice. areas. That's exactly what it's the last throw of the dice, Jim. Simple as that. Still got potential, maybe, of, uh, of bringing Isco on to, to supplement Benzema. I wonder how long it will be before that happens. 14 to go. They, they desperately... Real Madrid need better possession it's Chelsea creating the better chances they have it again Pulisic trying to find a way inside the penalty yet flashes across the six yard box no one can get the touch Hammond sliding in couldn't reach it Chilwell back for Mount inside the penalty area he can't get a shot in Modric can bring it away Modric for Benzema Benzema thrashing it wide and a first chance for Rodrigo to make his way forward high ball from him Thiago Silva comes back and so calmly just nods a cushion header down and Chilwell, who is in support, mops up to do the rest. And the first Real Madrid counter-attack comes to nothing. Chelsea now bring it forward themselves. And Pulisic finds Azpilicueta. Azpilicueta on the edge of the area. Back for Pulisic. Pulisic checks, turns, gets it onto his left foot and then can't get a ball in. Azpilicueta can't take it on. And it goes through to court twice, caught in two minds there. Wasted opportunity, but I'll tell you, I'm going back to the previous one where Mount does brilliant. I might be being hypercritical here, but I just think Havertz has got to finish that. I know it goes across the face of him, but I think if he gambles a split second earlier, he taps it in, Jim. Real Madrid bring it forward. And here's Rodrigo. They're a goal down. 12 minutes to go. A long-range shot from distance came from Asensio. Uh, that was blocked. As Pelicueta then turns it away. And out for a throw that will be taken on the Real Madrid left. Cesar Aspilicueta, who played both legs of the semi-final against Atletico Madrid seven years ago seven years on is he about to get to a Champions League final in Chelsea Colours ball off Benzema and that will roll out of play or well, Mendy in fact has uh, stopped it going out of play might not have quite had the legs to get there actually uh, but he can pick it up easily and now will physically pick it up inside his penalty area it's waiting for Benzema to come and Paid lip service to putting a challenge in and Chelsea are 12 minutes away what do you think I, I might have been a little bit harsh for that last chance here on, on, on Havertz I just think I'm watching the whole thing unfold in front of me and a brilliant skill again on the right hand side from Mason Mount Jim but I'm just thinking if he gambles a split second earlier maybe it's the lack of striker instinct in him but what an opportunity Chelsea, Chelsea have played ever so well in the second half I've got to say everything apart from the finish 
and uh, not the first time that has been said under Thomas Tuchel but it has been a fantastic exhibition of match management up to this point from Chelsea Courtois will get it away long ball forward Benzema backing in to roll Thiago Silva Benzema running towards the edge of the penalty area and great play by Jorginho he came back and just as Benzema was preparing to unload Jorginho nicked it off his toes brilliant from Jorginho it really is we spoke about it he does a lot of his his great work unseen Benzema does really really well I've got to say turning Thiago Silva great upper body strength he thinks he's just got a way to pull the trigger Jorginho back defending excellent defensive work Benzema finding cross the central position 20 outside the box Real Madrid getting the bodies forward work it through the midfield with Valverde now to Nacho to Asensio Asensio with a good first touch coming in off the touchline back for Nacho Nacho into the heart of the midfield for Valverde again now another opportunity for Nacho to Hazard Hazard coming in off the left as Piliqueta able to second guess his every move after so many hours in opposition against him at Cobham down the years Modric taking it out towards the right hand touchline here for Real Madrid who continue to trail 1-0 as he plays it inside the area Christensen follies it away awkward for Ramos Havertz is there first and Havertz doing well spins it out towards the left hand touchline now checking back inside the runner Sergio Ramos still Ramos goes uh, still Havertz playing it to his right Conte good from Pulisic but he's dragged it across the face of goal and well why? Brilliant from Havertz absolutely brilliant he's been great to take he's been absolutely brilliant tonight apart from the lack of goals that's the only thing he cuts inside does really really well to release Kante who releases Pulisic who screws his shot wide again and still it's 1-0 still Chelsea don't have that insurance that it doesn't particularly look as though they're going to need but it would just make everything so much more comfortable if they could get it Nacho who's playing a left back for Real Madrid now Four down the line for Aiden Hazard. Asensio making a run ahead of him. Conte coming back, blocks the pass. As Piliqueta can turn it forward. And here's Pulisic with the opportunity to bring it into Real Madrid territory once more. Poor pass though as Mount have made the run to his left. And Modric read the script, sticks out a foot and brings it away. Asensio then for Hazard, who's fouled by Az Piliqueta. No complaints for Az Piliqueta. He uh, just sprints back, gets into position. Real Madrid taking the free kick quickly. Wasted opportunity again there. Pulisic did ever so well. Kante brilliant defensively on the right hand side, winning the ball back and releasing Pulisic, who wasted the pass. Don't forget at the conclusion of this game, your chance to react to Chelsea either getting to the Champions League final or passing up a golden opportunity ruining a number of missed chances either way Jason and Andy taking your calls on the sports bar tonight on 0871722344 and then the sports breakfast tomorrow Ali alongside the big out with Jamie O'Hara and they'll be joined by Mark Hughes, Mario Melchior, Mark Bosnich, Ben Kay, amongst others on the sports breakfast on Talk Sport tomorrow morning Here's uh, Tony Kroos. Will you be reacting to a Chelsea victory? 1-0 they lead at the moment. Eight to go. Asensio, left-hand side of the box. As Piliqueta blocks it, goes out of play for a throw down by the corner flag. Excellent defending. As Piliqueta, Asensio, he, he's not trying to beat As Piliqueta. just wants a wee half yard to the delivery in. He doesn't get it, and it's blocked for a throw and Good defending. It's a throw that Nacho's going to come across to take right in front of the cameraman and uh, in front of two watching Chelsea substitutes Abraham and James. In comes Nacho's delivery and it was close to Rodrigo. It was a good header from uh, Rudiger and the immediate inquest between him and Thiago Silva about who was marking who because it was two against Rudiger for a moment and he beat them both to get it away. Real Madrid working out towards the left-hand touchline. Asensio nodding it down getting to the stage where Osmarenge are trying to turn the screw not to devastating effect it has to be said but their possession which is now beginning to go up into the 70s is in better areas the ball is over on the Real Madrid right with Valverde 
one of the substitutes finding Kroos Kroos working back for Eden Militao he goes back for Sergio Ramos everybody apart from Courtois is in Chelsea's half of the pitch Kroos working it forward here Chelsea still 2-1 up on aggregate little give and go into the feet of Modric he's back for Kroos referee's positioning didn't do him any favours he couldn't get a shot in ball clips inside the penalty yeah great marking again Rudiger's brilliant there he's just stopped Rodrigo getting a run on the ball on Nacho's cross excellent just top of our view there it's a good delivery in but Rudiger prevents the run from Rodrigo it's good defending if you're a forward trying to make a run there it's just so annoying now but brilliant defending well Antonio Rudiger was almost surplus to requirements under Frank Lampard in the first half of this season I don't think I've ever seen him have a better game in a, a Chelsea shirt than he's had tonight he's been excellent absolutely no getting away from it but there's been three or four really top performances so far in blue Chelsea's six to go still Chelsea lead 1-0 Ramos heading it forward returned by Aspilicueta looped over the top for Pulisic's run Ramos heads out of the way oh Conte's won the second ball and Golo Conte he's got man to his left Pulisic to his right is this the moment Pulisic trying to commit Courtois plays it in and it's on a plate for Mason Mount Chelsea lead by two goals to nil they're going to Istanbul for an all English Champions League final and let me tell you this victory tonight against 13-time European winners Real Madrid is richly deserved they have been fantastic without doubt Jim absolutely brilliant I'm going to tell you right now I was just about to criticise Pulisic for not pulling the trigger I really was I thought when the pass from Kante who has been magnificent this evening he has been superb released the pass to Pulisic I'm thinking to myself steady yourself finish he doesn't he takes a touch when I thought he should have hit it draws the goalkeeper lays it in a plate for Mount who gets across the defender for the easiest of tap-ins 2-0 well deserved all English final on the cards it's only Mason Mount's second goal in Europe he scored at Porto and now he scored at home to Real Madrid in the semi-finals and Chelsea lead 2-0 with four minutes to go they're nearly there surely now it's job done it's great it's a, it's a great goal as I said I thought Pulisic was going to have a shot at goal which you know something he probably should have he takes the touch and he's almost waiting for Mason Mount to get the half yard in front of Eder Militeo which he does and he's got the simplest of tap-ins when he does that 2-0 hopefully out of sight can't be anywhere back now surely can there well we're not going to extra time Real Madrid have to score twice if they can get a draw now here they're going through four three and a half minutes plus stoppage time so probably six minutes to play maybe seven and Real Madrid have to score twice against this Chelsea back line who are ordinarily watertight it's a free kick to Real Madrid taken by Modric work quickly out towards the right hand side there'll be some frayed nerves if Real Madrid can get themselves back into the game with the first Eda Militao is fouled there's a yellow card I think to mount for the challenge and the goal scorer becomes the third Chelsea player to have his name taken and Chelsea going to make a change here Rhys James coming on for Cesar Azpilicueta yeah they've been excellent second half Chelsea Jim they really have just want to stay there to sit now and relax we always thought did see at half time there was a distinct possibility that Chelsea could get another goal on the counter they should have had it before Mason Mount scored there they've had three or four brilliant opportunities to score we thought is it going to come back and bite them thankfully it doesn't look as though it, it will and it looks as though we're heading to Istanbul for an All England final All English final but I tell you Jim Chelsea have been really really impressive second half I've been disappointed in what did as I say Benzema himself has been completely and utterly isolated through the middle but frankly Chelsea won't care and Chelsea are actually making a double change uh, because Mason Mount's making his way off as well Hakim Ziyech is on to replace it so Chelsea's two goal scorers not on the field now but they've done the damage 
and Chelsea are two up with two minutes plus stoppage time to play. Uh, Real Madrid are going to make another change in a moment. Mariano Diaz is a striker, will be coming on. Modric swinging the ball inside the penalty area, heads go up for it, referee seeing some push and shove, free kick to Chelsea. And another opportunity just to calm things down. The uh, Real Madrid change, Hazard coming off. And Mariano Diaz, uh, the Dominican striker, who's not scored in his last 17 games, is going to come on. And it is all hands to the attacking pump there for Real Madrid. Just doing everything they can, but I don't think the horse has long since bolted, to be honest. Salem a disappointing return to the bridge for Hazard. Can be very quiet, really, really quiet. Bordering one disappointing, to be honest with you. Uh, just hasn't been a move that has worked for him um, in any shape or form 40 games over a couple of seasons only four goals a shadow unfortunately of the player that he was what a player he was here's Pulisic Pulisic to Conte Pulisic caught off the ball free kick and a yellow card for Valverde so seven players booked tonight uh, four for Real three for Chelsea and this free kick will just give Chelsea another opportunity to run the clock down because by the time they take it we'll just about be in stoppage time and that was uh, cynical from Valverde in bringing Pulisic down they know they know Real Madrid and they know that they're a beaten side and it will be only their fourth away defeat of the season it will be their first defeat in 20 games but the the hug and embrace in front of us uh, from Tuchel to Azpilicueta speaks volumes. Pulisic thought that he was pushed there as well and might have had a case, but a, a throw to Real Madrid is given and there's four minutes of stoppage time. And as long as Chelsea don't concede twice, they're through. They lead 2-0 on the night and 3-1 on aggregate. And they have been excellent. What a good brace of English performances we have seen uh, in Europe over the last couple of nights. Throw taken and uh, hammered high by uh, Tony Kroos coming across to meet it is uh, Thiago Silva, nodded down by Modric, played up the left hand touchline by Nacho, headed away through the midfield, Rudiger slams it high, high up in the air, it'll come down and Ramos heads it forward and then Christensen turns it into... Real Madrid territory where Courtois will come out and claim it almost had his hands outside the left hand side of the penalty area and taking off the head of Havertz but close enough to be okay borderline call anyway is probably fine Asensio who's on the right hand side now back for Courtois big big smiles on the faces of the Chelsea substitutes Eda Militao bringing it forward and coming across the cover, Ben Chilwell puts it out of play for a throw. Ball inside the penalty area, headed away by Thiago Silva. Modric heads it down. Karen Benzema's got it. Benzema towards the edge of the penalty area, finding Modric. Modric with a little step over, trying to beat Conte. Benzema hits it, hits the referee, who couldn't get out of the way. So it'll be a drop ball to Real Madrid. About ten yards outside the penalty area, but there's only two and a half minutes to go, and they have to score twice. Yeah, referee stopped that ball. It was on his way to Valverde, who was opening up for a shot. Chelsea going to bring Giroud on. But the, the next break in play, just to disrupt the flow of things. Kroos inside the box, straight into the hands of Mendy. And Mendy will kick it forward long. And he's unlucky, oh no, he's not unlucky, he's kept him brilliantly. Pulisic covered a lot of ground to get to that. And Chelsea might be able to put the icing on the cake here. Ball back through the midfield for Reese James. Takes it down on his chest, flicks it past his man as he brought down. Referee says no, he took a tumble inside the box. The contact was outside, but no foul by Nacho. And then Benzema's given it his way as he tried to play him in. And Ziyech has it. And Ziyech will take it on towards the edge of the box. He's calling two minds whether to try and run it down towards the corner flag. Elected just to work it out towards the touchline in the end, and that will be played down towards that corner flag. Uh, Pulisic taking it towards the dead ball line, then puts it out of play for a throw, which will be taken over on the Real Madrid right. Chelsea wanting to make the change, it can't do so yet. It's going to be a double change. Giroud and Zuma are the players who are coming on. Kante heads it back towards the edge of the penalty area. Havertz lays it off to his right hand side. Reese James fires it wide. Great opportunity, great skill again from Havertz, Jim. He's had a brilliant evening. 
Reese James gets his foot round it, it's a good opportunity to it for him. Just goes round the wrong side of the post, you'd think it's too late now, surely for Madrid. Some brilliant performances from Chelsea this evening. Tell you who I will mention, the goalkeeper. Two great saves in the first half, well worth the mention. Edward Mendy, two, as I say, two fantastic saves from Benzema in the first half. Brilliant. You're right, Rudiger outstanding, Kante outstanding, Havertz might have been his best game for me so far I think he's been absolutely, excellent absolutely absolutely but that first save a nil-nil to deny Benzema only a couple of minutes before the Thank Timo Werner goal at the other end and that was a huge building block for Chelsea they know they're home and hose now particularly as the offside flag comes up against Mariano Diaz and it's a free kick to Chelsea it's outside their own penalty area the four minutes are up still trying to be added on because of the substitutions that have been made within stoppage time but there's only I don't know 30 40 seconds of playing time left if that Real Madrid's goose is cooked here and Chelsea with goals from Werner and Mount have got the job done and it is richly deserved Four from Mendy in towards Giroud, flick round the corner, Ziyech trying to get in, no penalty, thought for a moment the referee was going to point to the spot and give a penalty, but it is all academic, Chelsea are in the Champions League final, they've beaten Real Madrid by two goals to nil, and back in January, in the last days of Frank Lampard's reign, this would have seemed utterly inconceivable, but they brought in the Teutonic tutelage of Tuchel, and it has masterminded some transformation. You simply cannot score against this team now. And they take enough of their chances to get the job done at the other end. And they are one step beyond where they've been for a long time. They are in the final against Manchester City in Istanbul. After a masterclass tonight against the 13-time European champions. What a win that is for Chelsea, who make it through to their first Champions League final in nine years. Blue will be the colour in Istanbul. Will it be royal blue? Will it be light blue? We will find out an all-English Champions League final on May the 29th between Manchester City and Chelsea. Chelsea beating Real Madrid 2-0, 3-1 on aggregate.